Hey guys, this is Isaac. This is Minecraft Let's Play. Down there is our dungeon from earlier. And there, that's where my treehouse is going to be. You can see I planted some trees in between those two, and also a few more trying to connect to that little tree. And hopefully those will all grow, and then interconnect all of that into one giant tree, which I will then hollow out and build inside. Conveniently also very close to my dungeon. And I am trying to get to some water. And I'm doing so just by running straight in this direction towards my house. So I want to fill up these buckets. Ah, uh, there's my house. Yeah. Because water is an important part of any good uh, farming trap. We'll be farming zombies here. Which is pretty good. Zombies are kind of easy to farm. That is a quite bizarre pit. A lot of flowers too. I'm not going to waste time harvesting them. Maybe later if I ever want something really pretty. You can also see the remains of several trees that I hacked down. I now have like 20-something logs in my inventory. Which is kind of nice. Again, I'll be starting a tree farm soon and a reed farm and a better cactus farm. None of these will be too large since this really is not my main file, but they'll all be large enough to demonstrate to anyone who wants to build their own the best way to do it, in my opinion. My sword also suffered quite a lot of damage because... This is kind of interesting, actually. Leaves, um, when you destroy them, deal two times uh, durability damage to everything but hatchets. Typically, like, you know, if you use, say, a pick to harvest some dirt, it deals two times durability damage, rather than just one if you use it on, like, a dirt resource. I mean, on a stone resource, because picks are designed for stone resources. Um, correspondingly, if you use the hatchet on leaves, then it hacks away at them with only one durability loss as opposed to two. But it doesn't actually speed it up. The hatchet speed for destroying them is just the same as the hand speed. What is faster for destroying leaves and also, weirdly enough, glass is the sword. Swords destroy them faster, but still take double durability damage. So, I don't even know what's up with that. Right, now I'm just going to build a very simple cactus trap. Spawners right here. What all, what all do I need? I need my cacti. I need placeable resources. Probably should eat some bread because I think I am still damaged. Oh no, because I fell to my uh, suicide last episode by accident. Need some glass, of course. Now, what you're going to want to do is have a water current starting on either wall. I'm going to use this one. It sweeps the monsters into a wall of cacti and then collects their drops into a particular place. So first step, I'm just going to go ahead and pick a drop collection point. I'm going to say it's right here. This is where I want all the drops to come. I'm going to mark it with some sand just so I remember where it is. And I'm going to begin hollowing out a little bit more of this area. Hopefully, oh geez, oh geez, if it turns to night, they'll be spawning all in here. And that will be a big problem. And actually, if it turns to night, monsters will fall in through that ceiling and get me. So I'm going to go ahead and patch this over. I think I have enough dirt, too. Now we need to build the actual cacti wall, which the monsters will be pushed into. Ugh. I just heard a monster. Probably outside. Actually. Yeah, because there's multiple different kinds of monster noises. So definitely outside. That's good. Now. And I will also... Don't need that torch. Uh, not going to lay the cacti yet. But you can see the cacti will go on all these sand blocks. And I need a water current which I will place last, because that'll make it really difficult to do everything else. And that can be filled up. I basically want to gather the monsters in here, and then not have them go th through onto here, because this is where I'm going to sit to collect my drops. So actually, that should be glass. And beating zombies to death on cactuses is probably one of the most fun ways to kill them. Plus, I have the cacti and have to use them for something. And then that's 
part of my block, right? Yep. So this will release me back into the night. Whenever it turns into day. <laughs> and now I don't have a, a way back into that room. I am clearly not thinking this through. <laughs> I know how I'll go in. No, actually, that's way more work than I should put into this. I'll build a door here eventually. Actually, I do have logs on me. I can just put a workbench down here now. First, I'll make this room a little more presentable. Since it is zombies, I don't actually have to worry about ranged attacks, but I may as well fill this. If it's skeletons, that's way more important. I don't like how deep this cave is, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw some walls in here. And, because I don't want monsters spawning back here, I'm going to leave those torches. Just because it would be really annoying if they spawn back there. Once again, left the ceiling. Grumble, grumble. I think there's a block there. Turn these into some of them. And turn them into planks. As I'm sure you're all aware, I tend to just kind of say like half of a thought and then sort of stop talking. Uh, what am I making? Door. That's okay, because the zombies won't actually be getting there. Hopefully. Uh, need to knock out that block. That one, too. Actually, yeah, I need to knock out all this. Cacti have some weird stuff going on with them, but I'll talk about that in a minute. And I'd also want to make this... Give them as few options as possible. <laughs> so I'll just condense this area down... Pretty it up a little bit over here. Because it must be pretty. Um, actually, I can make this room a bit smaller, even. I just want to leave him enough room to spawn. That's all that really matters. Was that torch seriously keeping them from... Nah, it looks like they're not going to spawn anyway. Uh, another... Okay, so now, you can see that hopefully what we're going to have, um, this actually does need to be flowing down more. I think other than that, though, I'm done. And then that means, I don't need that, what do I need? Glass, which I already have. Cool. Because... Oh yeah, I can't get out yet. Huh. There we go. And build a little procession here, so I can get into the drop spot. This is going to be the drop spot, right there. And I believe all that's left to be done is destroying these blocks. Ah, I broke my last pick. I'll just make another. I think I have some sticks left. I can make some. Stone tools are awesome. Anyone who switches over entirely to iron tools has lost their soul. Well, I don't know. They've given their soul to efficiency. I don't know if that's really losing it. It's just not spinning it right. Righty. And then I only have two water sources currently. I think I'm going to need like four. But if I just put two in and then take... Uh, is that one going to be annoying? It is indeed. But now... 
I have my water sources back, and ideally zombies will fall into here. They'll be like, oh, can't get through, and then they'll kill themselves on my cacti. If they haven't already died, just being swept across into here. Now to place the actual instruments of torture. Hey, that actually looks like it's working pretty well. Got a very nice downward sweeping motion. I need to go destroy those torches, though. I expected the water to destroy them, but apparently not. Also need to make it impossible for them to come across here. Hmm. I guess just a block placed right here is what it's going to take. I'll use wool since it stands out so much. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> It took, like, literally half a second for those guys to tear me apart. I did not expect them to spawn instantly. I mean, quickly, perhaps, but wow. Maybe, maybe there was just enough darkness in that room that they had, like, started to spawn, but they were just waiting for a little bit more before they actually spawned. Well, this will put my spawner to an immediate test. I don't... I think I left that door open behind me, too. So maybe they'll have gotten out into the open room. I doubt it, though. I don't think they're going to be able to. Um, seems like we need a slight revision to this system. Seems like it has some flaws. Hey, feathers. So that part worked. I need to find my cacti. They all just vanished. Hey, that one's growing. Yeah, this is going to work just fine. Right. I should just eat that bread. Okay. But all my sand and all my cacti are gone. 